What's the band called? <laughs> fake band on fake Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am standing in the Habitat airlock. Uh, this is where we simulate decompression before we go out on EVAs. And this is also where we store our spacesuits. We have five of these green hazmat suits, and then we also have the one white MXC suit, um, which is a, a bit better of a, a simulant than the green suits. Um, this is also the, the brightest spot in the hab, so people sit here on sunny days and read or work, enjoy the light. Um, it's the one place we can grow plants without artificial light. Now we're gonna head into the CCAN, which is the storage area and workshop. We're pretty much on our own in terms of repairing things, so this is where we uh, work on stuff like that. We have the electrical system for the HAB, two 10 kilowatt hour uh, lithium iron sulfate batteries, which provide all of our power. Uh, they get charged by solar panels during the day and then we use run off them at night. And then there are inverters and other systems to, to convert all the electricity to a form we can use. On the other wall, we have all our food. Um, some of this gets resupplied during the course of the mission and some of it was the total supply for the eight months. Up on the roof of the CCAN, the solar hot water heater, um, where we get all our hot water. So if it's, if it's been a cloudy day, we don't have any hot water. Here we are at the upstairs of the hab. This is where our bedrooms and one of the bathrooms are. Uh, on our doors, I don't know if you can see, but we have um, our call signs that we call each other on our EVAs. So I'm going to show you the bedrooms. Uh, there's kind of two configurations we have made up for it. So this is Neil's room. And he's got the bed along here. Uh, and then it's pretty tiny, as you can see. We've got a small desk, small chair that also doubles as storage, and just the one shelf. Uh, we keep our uh, laundry and clothes and stuff under our beds. Uh, and then I'll show you my room, which is the other configuration. So here is the other way we have our rooms, uh, with the bed along the back, and yeah, my desk, small chair, um, shelf. And then next to me we have the upstairs bathroom. So, yep, yeah, um, these are the composting toilets, uh, no water use. It does have like a heater and a fan, so it, all the fumes get exhausted out of the hab. Uh, the shower and everything is downstairs, so we'll take a look at that in a moment. Hi, here we are in the downstairs bathroom of the hab. We have another composting toilet. We have our shower, sink, stuff. Um, so we do have a bit of water restriction while we're here. All our water comes from a storage tank outside that periodically gets filled, um, but we want to be conservative. So right here you can see on the wall we've got our um, shower schedule where we kind of track everyone's usage of the shower. We also have this other schedule down here. This is for the uh, toilet maintenance. The composting toilets take a fair bit of maintenance um, and we don't want to overload them. So whoever's first is in charge of rotating the drum of compost every week and then we track when we have to like empty it out. This is our laundry area. We've got a washer and dryer. Um, I don't tend to use the dryer because it uses a lot of electricity, which we don't have a lot of on many days, but people can use it if it's like a sunny day and we have extra power to, to burn, then you can use the dryer. Um, and yeah, washing machine, everyone gets one load of laundry about every one to two weeks. Uh, and again, to spare water, so. Here we are in the telemetry room. So this is where all the connections to all the sensors around the hab are made and then we can check on our computers like what the battery status is, what the water level is, what the temperature is, and control everything using using UELA. Uh, we also have the computer for the NASA experiments that have the cameras around the hab that are watching us so everything's backed up back in this room as well. Here I am in the high seas kitchen. It's really the heart and soul of our mission and it was one of the primary goals of the first mission. We bake in a toaster oven, actually, which is a little different. Here you can see we make fresh bread ourselves, um, since we only have a shelf-stable ingredients. 
We cook on hot plates and induction plates. Zach has some gumbo going right now. We have a microwave, a rice cooker, and a mini fridge and mini freezer. We also make coffee in the mornings and we use the kettle often for tea as well and also to rehydrate our ingredients. Uh, so here, for example, is the green and red bell pepper. So they're just dried, diced pepper and then we put hot water and soak them for a little while to rehydrate. We have a lot of vegetables here, then our flowers for baking. And on this side we have like one of each of our meats. So we have sausage, beef, chicken, turkey, and even ham and dairy products, so our milk, sour cream, and goat's milk powder, and then lots of sugar and some snacks. So we're pretty well stocked. We're definitely eating well here. Welcome to our dining room. This is where we eat. We typically have uh, a dinner here as a crew. As you can see, we have a table set up. As far as what we eat, we've had uh, various dishes from different countries and cultures. Um, for example, we've had Italian nights, we've had Japanese nights, Australian nights, Russian, Hungarian, pizza nights, sushi nights, you name it. We've pretty much covered a lot of stuff. Besides dinners, we also make excellent desserts. We've had cakes, we've had brownies, we've had cookies, we've had flan, we've had cheesecakes, you name it. Again, we've, we've done it all. We've done pies on pie day. And here we're looking at our cooking schedule. Since I mentioned uh, we have dinner every night here, someone is responsible for that meal for the day. For each meal we have a main chef here, a sous chef that will be assisting that person, and two cleaners. And uh, you know it's very flexible, sometimes we switch around if we need to, if someone's not feeling well and whatnot. But basically this is a schedule uh, that works for everyone and it looks like we always have uh, at least one day of leftovers. Just like Alan said, this is not only the workout room, it's also the dining room, it's also the board game room. <laughs> We exercise a lot as a group together, so we can fit all of our yoga mats down at the same time. We can all be working out, doing the same thing at the same time as well. And on sunny days, it's nice because you can uh, get on the treadmill and, you know, you're kind of going for a walk, you can see outside, and it's kind of a pretty landscape. Um, but when it's cloudy outside, we don't have any energy to spare on, uh, on the treadmill, so we have to use a stationary bike. on our desks and this is our fish blast off the rocket boots. Um, this is my station where I do robotics and anything else that I happen to be working on at the time. This is Zach's 3D printer right here for some of his research um, as well as modeling some game parts and things like that that are always useful. Here's Martha and Jocelyn's station and then here we have kind of our print station. Um, this is our unblock computer for if we do need emergency contact that isn't delayed, we can go on that computer and that just has instant um, internet access. One of the things that our 3D printer has made, um, you've seen us all wearing our badges. They have to be charged every night. And these are some handy dandy little charging stations that our 3D printers have made us. The other thing we have is a telescope. So this is a project that Neil's been working on, um, doing some astrophotography. So here we are in the High Seas Laboratory, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty small. Um, but we've got a lot of equipment in here that you would see in a normal lab. I do environmental monitoring of our water and our air quality here. 
and I do all my testing here in the lab. And Martha's actually got her garden here, her indoor garden, which is rocking and rolling. We have uh, some LED lights on loan to us from Kennedy Space Center, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, we have fresh food every once in a while. We just had an actual tomato the other night for dinner, which was amazing, grown right here from seeds in Martha's indoor garden. So yeah, that's about all that's going on in here, but uh, it's pretty awesome.